And I've just increased the um, burn a bit. This one, take this uh, blanket. So see air. It's got a two or three coats of CA on it. Um, the other ones that I've done, I've only had one coat on, just so that um, when it's sanded, the uh, black from the from the burn doesn't go into the wood. So. I'm not quite sure whether this is going to be quite dark enough but we'll um, see how it goes and I'll come back to you it's about a third of the way through now I actually reduced the size of the picture because it was scaring the uh, squaring sorry scaring, not, it was squaring the um, the ends off of the first one that I did so this one is is quite a bit smaller I think I may have gone down a bit too small but um, you'll get the general idea anyway it, another thing that I think that um, can be done to get it to wrap the full 360 degrees the the drive side where the elastic band is that could be bigger and I think that way it will give more more of a 360 around the around the blank but I mean it's all a matter of experimenting to um, see how it goes anyway I'll uh, get back to you so it's just over halfway now but, um, and it's been going for a few minutes quite a few minutes but, um, it's not uh, particularly quick but then to print flat it's not particularly quick but if you look at the cost of it and what you can do with it I mean the cost of the laser this was um, just under $140 Australian for this one and I'm I'm amazed at, at um, its ability and the the fine detail that that you can do I don't know whether you could see but I did an Eiffel Tower which is one of the pictures supplied with it and you could see all of the grid work of the of the structure amazing for something so cheap how reliable that remains to be seen but um, as I say I don't think it can be faulty and this just adds a bit more capability to it at no real cost but, um, as I said it's KISS nothing really to go wrong elastic band I suppose and then you have to go out and find one of a colour you like anyway I'll uh, turn it back off and get back to you it's getting very close to the end now so I may just leave it running only the, um, the last part of the tail which it's doing now and that part is the head so it's a it's a dragon by the way it's a, the same as the one that I that I put up earlier on as I say this one I actually scaled it down a bit to to try and get it all in which it didn't on the bigger version so I think it needs playing around with the scaling I don't know um, what software anyone's using for doing these images but um, I wouldn't mind a comment just let me know what to look for so that's the uh, head finished I think
vacuum to it. Yeah, so that's the last part of the tail it's it's doing now. So it stopped going up the other end towards the head. So it should be finished any second. I would suppose that's it. I'll just take it out, I'll turn the laser off, I don't want to get burnt. it there and as you can see that's complete if I show you the other one that I did it actually has a square on that part and if I go around you'll see on the other side it's got the completed tail as opposed to that part getting focus Yeah, as opposed to uh, that that part missing, which you can see on on that one, and that burn, the the second one I've just done is much better than much clearer than uh, than the first one. So I mean that's it. It um, as I say, I'm very happy with it for um, just a little bit of effort in making the sides, and really you could do that out of anything. You could balance it on on a couple of books it um, it, it really doesn't matter and those uh, it comes off easy enough anyway I'm not going to waffle on I shall um, see if I can get this posted for you okay thanks very much I'm sorry for the delay